Okay, everyone. Good afternoon. This is Andy's Randomness here, coming to you from the north side of Ocean City. It's been a pretty active afternoon for the National Weather Service office in Wakefield, Virginia. And that would explain why um, the Mount Holly office of the National Weather Service was stubborn to send out the RWT on WXJ94 an hour ago. But I will explain what's going on here and uh, wrap up the video. I'll show you the weather report from WBOC meteorologist Mike Lynchiak. But earlier this afternoon, about an hour ago, as I'm recording this video, the National Weather Service office in Wakefield issued a flash flood warning for Worcester County. All right. So this is what we are getting from. I'm just trying to confirm this right here. So I know the alert was sent out at 1224. So here it is right here. And I'll read the text data from Wakefield. So they issued a flash flood warning for northeastern Worcester County. Basically, that's my county. Now, I will show you the map of what was sent out. So it's a very specific map that was sent out from Wakefield. Now, again, I'm on the north side of Ocean City. My area particularly was not put in this cone. The initial storm reports coming in are suggesting that we have flooding being reported on the west side of Ocean City along Route 50 this afternoon. Now, looking out my window right now, we'll just do a quick look here on the north side. Um, as you can see here, Route 1 is currently moving. Well, that's a good thing. So at least, again, here on the north side, we are not getting any flooding. But for those folks on the south side, um, I'll say where Philadelphia Avenue begins, that's where the general cause of concern of flooding has been per the National Weather Service office in Wakefield. Now, if I were to go to the south side right now, I would be endangering my life because... It is a very dangerous situation for those folks on Philadelphia Avenue right now and along Route 50 because we are getting reports that there is flooding on the bridge that goes to the west side of Ocean City on Route 50 and that leads into the inlet on the south side of Ocean City. Now let's get into some storm reports per the IEM bot. Now we are getting reports in southwestern Ocean City that there are vehicles currently stranded right now. So we are going to um, read this here. Let's see if, let's see. Yes, okay. So we do have vehicles stranded at this particular time. No specific text data from Iowa State University. But we do have a picture of a flooded road that was near Ocean City per broadcast media. So I'm assuming that could probably be WBOC that possibly did get the um, storm reports at this time. So let's just take a look to see if we can pull up uh, WBOC's website here, see if we can get any information from them at this time. Okay, there we go. I just had WBOC. <laughs> okay, here we go. Looks like they're not gonna have anything at the moment. And I am not seeing anything that would suggest that we do have um, anything that would indicate pictures, but probably we will get more pictures, hopefully later today of the flooding. Hopefully people will post it on Twitter X or Facebook. Hopefully we'll see something later today. Now, one more quick thing before we wrap up this quick report as we're going to go to WBOC meteorologist Mike Lynchiak. He will be better at explaining the situation on why Wakefield had to issue the flash flood warning. So he's better at explaining it than I would be. So um, I want to mention that a severe thunderstorm watch was issued by Norman, Oklahoma today. This is severe thunderstorm watch number 554. And I want to mention today 
that if you are in the Hampton Roads area today, if you are in the Hampton Roads area, particularly if you're, I would say right around here along I-64 and then going down here, I would suggest to please consider taking this seriously today. Is Elizabeth City in this? Looks like it is, yes. So Elizabeth City is a densely populated area, very decent population of thousands of people. So if you are in this area today of the Hampton Roads and Eastern North Carolina, please pay attention to the weather today because you are under a slight risk of severe weather expected. Now, in terms of when the SVA will expire tonight, this will be until 9 p.m. So I will closely monitor anything um, if it does occur into that particular area today. I uh, don't know if I can get any alerts from Norfolk, but I'll try my best as I can. So there you have it, folks. That's going to wrap up this video. Um, now we're going to go to WBOC meteorologist Mike Lynchiak, and he will explain why Wakefield issued the flash flood warning. Hi there, everybody. Happy Thursday to you. We have started to see some showers and storms developing here on Storm live storm tracker radar over the last few hours. You can see this train of thunderstorms that has developed basically over parts of Worcester County over the last two hours from the south side of Ocean City through West Ocean City out towards Berlin and also into the parts of Ocean Pines down through Newark over towards Snow Hill and then out towards Princess Anne, trying to extend back towards Princess Anne. But I want to put this into motion for you here over the last hour to show you something. Notice that this is all training. This is all moving over the same areas over and over and over again as these thunderstorms continue to develop off to the west, and they just basically move along a line. This is problematic because the radar is already estimating that anywhere between four to eight inches of rain have fallen in this area over the last hour and a half, and notice there isn't really that much of a push to the south just yet. This is going to occur as we work through time, but there could be some flooding issues going on across parts of Worcester County as we speak. You know when you ask for something to happen and it happens, it's nice to know that the Weather Service Office is listening. Flash flood warning in effect for Worcester County, where we've already seen about one to two, maybe as much as three inches of rain have fallen from these line of showers and storms that has been rolling across portions of Worcester County. That's going to continue here for the next hour or so.